What's up, y'all? It's Emil Anish Jr. back here with Clever News. And The Bachelor's most recent controversial contestant, Victoria Fuller, is speaking out again about her racial past and admits that she is fully supportive of the Black Lives Matter movement. Long ago, there were the dramatic nights of The Bachelor when we would all get together to criticize Peter Weber's contestants and their antics. But it was Victoria Fuller who seemed to cause the most chatter among Bachelor Nation. Ever since she was cast on the show, Reality Steve was quick to report that she had a past of breaking up marriages, including one with a close friend of hers, and dated country singer Chase Rice just weeks before her date with Peter, where Chase performed and it aired on national television. After being put on blast by Reality Steve and later denying any allegations of causing infidelity, Victoria later found herself in the middle of an even bigger controversy. Photos surface of Victoria from back in her old modeling days, posing for a clothing brand that promoted the slogan, White Lives Matter. Come to find out, WLM, which ironically enough is an abbreviation for White Lives Matter, but also the Virginia Beach-based company, We Love Marlins, actually focuses on the conservation of marlin fish. But let's just call a spade a spade. The slogan itself is in pretty poor taste. Anyway, when Victoria was hit with backlash from fans, she issued an apology back in February, writing, quote, my intention was only to support an endangered species. I want to say that I unequivocally reject the beliefs of the White Lives Matter movement or any propaganda that supports racism of any kind. This issue became so viral that during her run on The Bachelor, Victoria's past choices caused her to lose a Cosmo photo shoot with Peter that she had initially won in a competition. Cosmo editor-in-chief Jessica Pels announced in a statement that the digital cover would not be published because of the WLM gig. She said, in my view, the nature of the organization is neither here nor there. Both phrases and the belief systems they represented are rooted in racism and therefore problematic. But fast forward to the month of May, aka just days ago when the Black Lives Matter protests began following the wrongful and brutal death of George Floyd, Victoria has once again issued a statement supporting the movement, but also admitting that she has been part of the problem. In a post she shared to Instagram on Wednesday, Victoria wrote, I'd first like to say I have been a part of the problem, and for that, I am sorry. Being naive, staying silent, or not educating ourselves of the ongoing racism in our country is contributing to the problem, period. I don't want to be a part of the problem. I've taken time to educate myself, read, listen, and although I can never fully grasp or understand, I am willing to keep learning. In her post, Victoria also included the definition of white privilege, as well as what we can do to help the cause. She added, so now we have a choice. We can continue to use unearned privilege to remain ignorant or can put aside the color of our skin in order to see clearly and live differently. After sharing many different ways in which people can use their privilege to help out and spread the word, Victoria's last point was to take time to reflect. She said, quote, something that I personally asked myself before deciding to post this in what ways does my proximity to whiteness afford me privileges that are not extended to black people? Amen to that. But fans began praising Victoria for taking the initiative to educate herself following such backlash, taking to Instagram to respond back with comments like, the best statement I've seen so far. And I have a lot more respect for you after this. Thanks for using your platform. Another user wrote, this is a very inspirational post. Thank you very much for touching on multiple bases of how to protest and help a great cause. What's most important here is the fact that Victoria has taken the time to educate herself on the social injustice and racism present every single day in our country and is using her platform to inform others. And with our platform, we here at Clever also stand against all injustices experienced by members of the Black community and stand with George Floyd and the many other Black people who have tragically lost their lives due to the color of their skin. We've linked some resources and places to donate down in the description below, and we will continue to cover these stories and take part in these conversations. Speaking of conversations, please click right over here to hear why Clever stands up against injustice, and let us know your thoughts on Victoria's statement down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Anish Jr., here with Clever News. Bye, guys.